All right, so now we're doing the AP Calculus BC FRQ number two. And uh, for 2024, if there's any corrections, I will put as a pinned comment below. So we have a particle moving along a curve, have position x of t, y of t, so it's a parametric. It is known that x prime is that and y prime is that at time t equal to. So we know the velocity or the, 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 we, we, we're given the velocity vector here because we're given the derivative and we're given some an initial point. Find the speed of the particle. Okay, speed of the particle, right, is going to be the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt, it's the magnitude of the velocity. Um, and we're going to evaluate that at um, 2, t equals 2. So let's just go and set up our calculator. All right, so what's the process we do to set up our calculator? We're going to, we're going to plug in, we'll say x, y1 is going to be the first variable, the first function, x minus x squared. And then the section function is going to be negative x, so negative t plus square root of x raised to the 1.2 plus 20. Okay, so just make sure I just want to double check that I typed those in correctly. Okay, cool. Now, we don't need to take the derivative of these things. We already have the derivative. So we just need to evaluate what those are. So this is going to be the square root of y1. So I'm going to put parentheses. I don't know the order of operations. So we'll do y variables, function, y1, and we put evaluate at 2, squared. And then we'll do the same thing with y2. There's y there's function, y2. Evaluate it at 2. Let me be careful. Make sure you evaluate it at 2. And then you square it, right? Because the derivative is squared. So that gives me, uh, oops, I keep messing that up. OK, 12.305. OK. Uh, next part, um, find the total distance traveled by the part, show the setup for your calculation. I don't know what that means, but, um, um, I, maybe, maybe if you wanted to be a little bit careful on that setup. So for part a, I might do square root of X of X prime of two squared plus, uh, Y prime of two squared, just to show what you did on the calculator. If, if it's not super obvious, I just plugged it into there. All right, B, find the total distance traveled by the particle from 0 to 2. So that's the integral from 0 to 2 of the speed. So we're going to now, we're not evaluating at a point. We're going to integrate this thing. So this is the speed, and we want to integrate it over that. And so that's what we're going to do. Math, oops, math, integrate from 0 to 2. So that's what distance traveled is, right? It's the integral of the speed, square root of um, vers, y vers function y1 squared plus vers y vers function y2 squared and then integrate that over x. Boom, boom, boom. And then I get 15.902. And there's no units here, so we're just going to leave them just like that. No units. Uh, at least they don't say that. Oh, nope. Ah, I'm just kidding. They did say units, so I do need to put units here. Um, they did give me units. So this is measured in centimeters. So this is centimeters per second, because we're doing it in seconds. A t equals two seconds, t equals seconds. So this is centimeters. Distance traveled would be centimeters then. OK, uh, find the y coordinate of the position of the particle at time t equals 0. So y, so again, you, if you have the derivative of y, this is a fundamental theorem of calculus, if you take the derivative, if you integrate that derivative, that's going to be y of b minus y of a. Now, I want the position at t equals 0, and I know the position at t equals 2. So I'm going to integrate this from 0 to 2, and that will give me y of 2 minus y of 0. This is the y position. I want to know this guy. What is y of 2? At times t equal 2, it's located here. The y coordinate is 6. OK? Minus y of 0 is equal to. Then this is just going to be the integral of that second one. So here, for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do math integral from 0 to 2. But we're just going to do the derivative. Oops, I've got a dt here. We're just going to do function y2, because I want the y-coordinate, right? And y2 is where I put the y-coordinate. OK, so that's equal to 7.174.
And so then y of 0 is just going to be uh, move this over, move this over. So it's going to be 6 minus that, right? Negative 1.174. Oh, centimeters. Okay, that's the location. Um, for 2 to 8, the particle remains in the first quadrant. Okay, that means x and y are both greater than 0. Find all times when the particle is moving towards the x-axis. Give a reason for your answer. Well, so if I'm in the first quadrant, then what I want is I want my speed vector to be uh, toward the x-axis means I need the velocity. I need the y component of the velocity. I need the velocity to be somehow the y component to be negative. So because the position y uh, y of t is greater than 0, I want to know where y prime of t is less than 0, because then it would be pointing towards the x-axis. Then, the, then it would have a negative y velocity. So that would be the direction. So I want to know when this is less than 0. And so um, you can just graph this as is, and then just see where it's less than 0, right? So here's a graph. I'm going to not graph this first one, just so it doesn't confuse me. So what you can do is you can go to the equal sign, hit equal, so then it won't graph it. It will only graph this guy, the guy I care about. And then I only want the, I'm only want from 2 to 8. So 2 to 8. And negative 3 to 3 is fine. I don't know, just something like that. Okay, so here to here. So I want to know where that is there. And so that is going to occur from there to 8, right? So uh, calculate the 0. Left bound, go to the right of it. And so that occurs when uh, 5.222 is less than t is less than 8. And that's where that occurs. Okay? And that's it.